So I've got a spreadsheet here with some officers and their sales and I've also got what country they're in and I'd like to work out that average for each of those but based on the country. Now I do have a tutorial on how to do an average uh, which includes all of those figures in there but I just want to do those for the UK and for that I need a specific function and it is called average if. So it's going to average these figures based on the criteria here and I've got a title here average in UK and I've got a, color, a cell here which I'm going to put it into I'm going to do one for the USA as well. This average selection I'm going to do the same thing but when I type in the country that I want here it will change here it will pick up the criteria from there. So first up let's do this one I'm going to go into my insert function and I we can see I've used it here but it comes under the uh, statistical and here it is average if and I'm going to click on OK. Now I could have just typed in at the top here average and clicked on go which is a good way of searching for it and there it is it comes up it's average if and click on OK. So the range is the criteria that's being evaluated that's this range here. So I need to select that. I then need to put in my criteria which I'm going to do UK. I'm doing it capital letters but actually it's not case sensitive. I'm then going to click on the average range and you can see it's not in bold which means that it's optional and the reason it's optional is that your range could be the same so if I was working out for example I wanted the average of only those figures say over a hundred the range would be this column here and it would be the criteria I just do greater than 100. Let me just fix that one there. Let me just highlight that. So that's fixed. So let's click on OK. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean for that other one. So let's click on OK. So there we are. I can do the same for the USA. I'm just going to click on it. This time I'm going to go into my more functions here. Choose statistical. And there's average if. So once again, it is the range is this criteria here, this column. The criteria is USA and the average range is this column here. That's the one that it's actually evaluating. That's the one that it's working the average out on. So let's click on OK and it has done it there. Let me just do this for average over 100 just so that you can see what I was talking about by using the same one. So I'm just going to go into my recently used because that's where it is. Average if that's useful to get used to the recently used because you tend to use the same functions over and over. So the range this time that it's checking the criteria against is other sales. It's that one there. And you're looking for anything greater than 100. I didn't do greater than or equal to which would include 100. It's just greater than. If I wanted equal I would add that I would add that in. Okay and it's not coming up with anything here let's just click on OK and it's come up with 163. So I'm going to have to take its word for it but that sounds about right. Let's just go back to this one here average selection where I can type in whatever I like here and for that again I'm just going to go into recently used average let's do my range but this time my criteria could be this over here and then my range that I'm evaluating I just highlight that and there we go and then if I change it to say USA it changes it and if I just typed in USA just like this it would be the same it's not case sensitive at all so France there would only be one and I could do Australia there we go. I could do the same here for this. I could change this. So let me just get rid of that and make it this cell here. Nothing's happening. So let me just do greater than 100 and less than 100. And you can see it's doing it. So what I've done now is I've made it so that this cell here, the criteria, is pointing to this cell. So whenever I change that, it changes with it. So there you are, that's using average if, so you actually can use averaging and apply certain criteria to it.